Hey everyone, it's Katie again. And like I've said in my last video, I have a very special treat. My friend Rocio is sitting down with us to talk about her experience with sexual orientation and the different stages that she's gone through. And if you haven't checked out the first video, we talk about um, when Rocio first noticed that she was attracted to women and what that process was like. So go back and check that out before you watch this one. But stay tuned for more as we talk about the coming out process and what that's been like. So like I said, Rocio is sitting down with me again to talk a little bit about coming out and what that process has been like for her and her experience. Um, and I guess my first question is more about like, when did you finally feel like you accepted the fact that, because I know before we are talking that you maybe thought that you were bisexual and that was like, okay, maybe I can do that. Mm -hmm. And then, then you're like, no, I don't think I am. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, you know, I think that was in a way, a way to be, for myself to be safe because, mm -hmm. you know, having to come to a, you know, accept that it was, yeah. I didn't know the reaction of other people, like I had told you. So, you know, I was thinking maybe the fact that I say I'm bisexual, you know, is going to be safer when I come out to people. Yeah. So, you know, I started that way, but then uh, eventually I came to terms and I said, you know what, I am gay. And that was when the whole coming out process to everybody else came to. Yeah, and were you, do you feel like there was like a moment, like you remember, or do you feel like it was more like, yeah, I don't really like guys, and yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think it was more like a moment. Like after a while, I was like, no, I really don't like guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm a lesbian. That's, yeah. it is what it is. So uh, at that time, you know, was at the university. Yeah. So um, the first thing will be to come out to my roommates. Okay. And, um, you know, part of me was a little scared because, of course, you don't know how the other person's going to, you know, react. Yeah. But um, the first, you know, person that I did came out to was uh, my roommate, uh, Mary. Oh, really? Yes. And it was during... I know Mary. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was during a psychology class. Okay. It was very nonchalant. Yeah. We were bored. I just wrote down on, you know, her notebook, you know, I'm gay. Mm-hmm. And, and she, she was say? just like, oh, well, I knew it all along. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling that so, would be her response. Like, yeah, she's like, okay, yeah, okay. I knew. Moving on. <laughs> so, I mean, that whole scary part, I think in a way, he went away because uh -huh. I felt supported at the time because mm -hmm. I didn't know how she was going to react. Yeah. And, you know, it's a dreading feeling as like, is she, you know, is she going to um, dislike me? Yeah. Is she not going to, you know, like continue being my friend or, or is she going to see me or... weird? Yeah. yeah. But it was not. Actually, it was totally the opposite and it was very, you know, very like heartwarming at the yeah, time. Yeah. So I'm to like, like, oh, Mary. I didn't yes, know she was the yes. first person. So, and, um, you know, she was the first and I started um, calling my other friends uh -huh. um, at the time. Um, we still had, um, you know, they... The public phones. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have a cell phone. <laughs> so I had to like just, you know, get a whole bunch of quarters and uh, uh -huh. call my friends in the valley and uh -huh. let them know. And how did the conversation go? Because a lot of the questions I get from people mm -hmm. are around the lines of like, well, I, I know I'm gay, so mm -hmm. they've accepted that. But then how do I talk to people about it? Well, I think if anything it depends on um, your, you know, your comfort mm -hmm. level with the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, my coming out um, ways or my stories have been uh, either at a restaurant with a friend, we're going to have dinner, and uh -huh. then, uh, you know, I have something very important to tell you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, this is part of my life, and, you know, I am gay. Yeah. Yeah. Another one, another type has been more like, um, you know me all my life, I... Uh, you know the way you know that I am. I'm mm -hmm. a very you know nice person, and well, this is another part of who I am. Uh, you know, I'm a lesbian. I don't yeah. like girls. Yeah. So uh, it depends on it depends on the person. It depends on uh, the comfort level that you have. It can be a casual conversation. It can be sometimes a very rehearsed conversation because to different people. I had to rehearse it in my head. Oh, okay, how am I going to come out to them? You yeah, know, what am I going to say? Different. Everybody's different. And your parents, I know, was probably really difficult. And my parents was it, it was difficult. I will say. Um, was it rehearsed or? That one was impromptu, and I <laughs> I, I I didn't know 
how it was going to come out, but uh, just had the courage at the time. Uh, of course, my mom was crying. Mm -hmm. My dad was like, you know, I, I don't believe this. <laughs> you know, we know you, you know, your life you pretty much. Yeah. So, but, you know, eventually they did come around and they did say, you know, they love me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took them took them a while yeah to accept and I think that's something that I want people to recognize too is just for anything that we're talking about or anything that we try to explain to a friend or a family member some people are like Mary's and they're yes, like they I know I already knew yeah like when I met you you didn't come out to me right away but I when you said that I was like well I know but and there are people that are like that and then there are people in your life that it may take them a little bit more time um, because they may have created their own identity for you and they believe that something, you know, especially parents create what I call like, um, I always tell parents, you've created a dream for your children. And like they expect it to go this certain way. And when we are creating our own dream, it takes them a little while to be like, okay, my dream doesn't exist. It's their dream. And so they, you know, come yeah. to terms with what you're, who you are and what you're about. Yeah, no, I mean, that is totally correct. I mean, um, a lot of the times people are going to have assumption, you know, mm -hmm. who you are, but um, you have to, you know, be, be present and just be a little assertive in a way. Yeah. In um, letting know, I mean, this is part of me. I mean, in you love me as who I am. Yeah. The entire me. And yeah, like you say, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be very happy and they don't care who you date as long as you remain their friends and yeah. uh, loving and there are some people that are going to have, you know, more of a, a difficult time sometimes, but it takes yeah. time for everything. Yeah. And you were in a group um, that helped with this. Is that right? Yeah, or... that is correct. I mean, um, for um, a part, I went to actually to therapy because I didn't know how to deal with feelings, emotions, mm -hmm. how else was going to react. So then I started going to group therapy and that did help me a lot because then I saw a lot of different people. You know, that we're struggling with the same questions that I was struggling, uh, coming out to friends or coming out to parents. Um, so it made it more normal. Yes, yeah. I am normal. You know, yeah. there's other people like me. It's mm -hmm. not only me at that time. Yeah, and this was through your university, right? That's correct. Um, I was able to uh, find a um, coming out group at that time. And there were also, um, you know, support groups but I felt more at that time I felt comfortable more going to a coming out group yeah because that was the stage you were in as well mm -hmm. and um and that's something that a lot of you can look into um if you're at a university I know that we're obviously in the states mm -hmm. and I'm but I have no doubt that there are counseling centers at all universities and schools around the world um and you can find support groups that way it may not be just a coming out group um I'm sure that they do have those in many universities um but reach out ask for help find out what they do um how you can join so so that you can get the support so that you can have a similar experience where you feel assertive and able to tell people yeah and did that that sounds like it kind of helped in that yeah it did it helped a lot because like i said before that i always used to feel like you know i'm like the you know the ugly duckling you know and yeah, the group or something's or we... odd with me or yeah so I, I didn't know how to go about and i didn't know any other gay people so yeah. it was it's you a great know, way to meet people like, just like you and yes. know that you're not alone. Yeah, pretty much. Which so. is such a good feeling for anybody. For anybody. For, you it's know. like mm -hmm. we like to feel with, it feels very comforting to be with like-minded people and people who feel what you feel yeah. and you understand. That is correct. I so. mean, just to, I mean, like I said, before that I had gone to uh, psychotherapy and that's just because I needed to, um, you know, to have like a soundboard and like to talk with somebody about my feelings because I... Yeah. I didn't have anybody else who to talk to since at that time before that I hadn't come out with any to anybody. Yeah, and um, are there people that you don't come out to even now or in that process that you've waited or? Uh, well, you know, every time that now that I'm a lot older, yeah. <laughs> uh, when I start a new job, sometimes I do have my hesitations so of coming out to people, mm -hmm. depending on who they are. Uh, what their you know perspectives are so uh, I, I take my time you mm -hmm. know coming out to them and it always have to be at my comfort level yeah when, when you're ready when and... I'm ready and then I come out to them and it's just another you know piece of uh, your life yeah you know, so. it's just like saying that you know I'm from Washington State and yes. I grew up doing this it's like just part of who you are yes and as yeah. people get to know you yes yeah so. yeah 
Well, thanks for sharing so much. And like I said, we're doing um, another video, so we're doing this in stages. So we're doing the video after this will be about um, being in a committed relationship, what that's like, if there are struggles um, day to day with any other people that we run into, um, and how Rocio and her fiance have dealt with this and come to terms with it and had a wonderful, happy you know, relationship for many years. So stay tuned. <laughs> that wasn't helpful. <laughs> <laughs> that was. <laughs>